In this video, I'm going to explain why adding a solute raises the boiling point of a liquid. And to do that, I'm going to be using a phase diagram. As a reminder, a phase diagram is a graph of pressure and temperature for a particular substance. The phase diagram shows us for any given pressure temperature combination, where the, whether the substance is going to exist as a solid or a liquid or a gas. In addition to that, um, it shows us the pressure temperature combinations where the substance is undergoing a phase change. So this line that I'm highlighting here represents all of the possible pressure temperature combinations where the substance is converting from a liquid to a gas or boiling. The boiling point of a liquid, the temperature at which the substance boils, is defined as the pressure temperature combination that falls along this liquid gas line and corresponds to normal atmospheric pressure. For most of us in the United States, normal atmospheric pressure is 1 atm. So if we wanted to know the boiling point of this substance, we would locate one atmosphere on the pressure axis. We would find the point along the liquid gas line that corresponds to that one atmosphere pressure, and then we would find the corresponding temperature. Let's do that. So we're going to start at one atmosphere, we're going to go across the graph, the phase diagram, until we reach the liquid gas line. And then once, once we reach the liquid gas line, we're going to go down and see what temperature corresponds to that particular pressure. So for this substance right here, what we have identified, whatever this temperature might be, this temperature is the boiling point of this particular liquid. We'll just say it's the boiling point of this particular substance. And we indicate this, capital T, subscript B for the boiling point. And we're also going to put the standard symbol on it, the degrees sign, um, or what looks like a degrees sign. This indicates, again, same notation as we've used before, that this is the boiling point of the pure substance. Now, when we add a solute to a solvent, as we saw in the last video, this causes the vapor pressure of the substance to lower. The vapor pressure of the substance to lower. The vapor pressure is the point where the substance is in equilibrium between the liquid and the gas phase. And again, the pressure of the liquid gas equilibrium lowers. So what this means, practically speaking, is that all of the points along this line get dropped down to a lower press pressure due to the presence of this solute. So that liquid gas line gets redrawn a little bit lower, maybe something like this. And again, this is the line due to the presence of a solute. So the liquid gas line lowers because the vapor pressure lowers due to the addition of a solute. Because we lower the liquid gas line, we also change the boiling point of a substance. So once we've added this solute and we've dropped the liquid gas line, if we wanted to know the boiling point of this same substance, we would go back to one atmosphere again, we would do the same thing, trace our one atmosphere uh, line across the phase diagram until we come to the liquid gas line, which is now over here. And then we would drop that down to find the corresponding temperature, which is now been raised. It is now over here. So this is the new boiling point, and this is the boiling point of the solution due to the addition of whatever this solute is. And we'll indicate that as TB without the degrees symbol because it's no longer representing a pure, uh, a pure solvent. We can calculate the change in the boiling point of a liquid using an equation, the change in boiling point, delta TB, is equal to a constant, which we call the uh, boiling point constant, capital K subscript B, times the molality of the solution. So Kb is a constant, and this is a constant that is specific to the liquid. It doesn't matter what the solute might be. So water has its own constant, uh, benzene has its own constant, and you can look those constants up in a table. And then M 
is the, this is little m, so this is the molality, not the molarity. And this, again, this allows you to calculate the actual change in the boiling point, which is represented right here on the phase diagram.